Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your Wi-Fi is showing that you're not connected, even though you are or you should be connected. So this should be hopefully a fairly straightforward tutorial for you guys. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the star menu. And you want to type in CMD. Under your programs, one of the best managers should say CMD here. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator when you receive a user account control window you want to select yes now into this elevated command line window you want to type in IP config space forward slash release so again IP config space forward slash release then you want to hit enter once you've done that you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS Flush DNS should be one word here. Then you want to hit enter. Once you've done that and you've typed it in exactly how it appears on my screen, you want to type in IP config space forward slash renew. Then you want to hit enter. This one will take a second to run, so just be patient. Now that you've done that, type in NETSH space WinSock space reset. So again, N-E-T-S-H space WINSOCK, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Now you want to hit enter. So now what I would recommend you guys do, close out of any open programs or windows you have on your screen. Restore your computer. Hopefully this should have resolved your issue. If it has not, we're going to move on to the next step of the tutorial once the system has restarted. Okay guys, now that the computer has restarted, I would recommend checking your internet connection and see if it's been restored. If it has not, we're going to move on to the next hopeful fix for your guys' issue. So and that would include going over to the start menu again and typing in regedit. One of the best matches should say regedit. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. When you receive a user account control window, you want to left click on yes. Left click on yes to open it up. And now we want to navigate over to HKEY local machine. So either double click on this folder to expand the view or left click on the little arrow next to it. Once you've done that, you want to go underneath system now. So left click on the little arrow next to that or again, you can double click whichever one you want. It will achieve the same result. And now you want to go down to current controller set, expand that one just like we did before and then you want to expand control now to make this view a little wider I'm just going to drag it over a little to the right now I'm going to go down to network right here I'm going to expand that we're going to go to network and I'm just going to left click on that one time and then on the right side there should be something that says config you want to right click on it left click on delete you want to confirm this value deletion by left clicking on yes Restart your computer and see if that has resolved your internet connectivity issues as well. Now, if that still has not resolved your issue after restarting your computer, I'd recommend heading back over to the Start menu. Type in System Restore. You want to left click on the Best Manage, which should say System Restore here. Basically, if you click on Next, it will give you restore points, hopefully, that have been saved on your computer. If you don't see any, you can always click on the Show More Restore Points button as well. Maybe there will be additional ones listed and just restore your computer back to a recently created restore point. This really should not affect any documents on your computer, more so any programs that maybe were created between the restore point creation date, which is listed here, and the actual date. But I noticed this one has some success as well. And if that does not work for you, I would also recommend looking at your router and actually resetting it. So either unplug it from the wall or most routers actually have a button that you can press 
to reset it, they often will have a little arrow in a circle, which basically just means reset or refresh, whatever you want to call it. And hopefully one of those methods should be able to resolve your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.